Welcome Pisces Aries to your beginning of the month of September reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's get straight in here and see what's going on with you. Okay. And I wanted to make a shout out to everyone who subscribed. Thank you all for subscribing and thank you for those donations. I do appreciate them and the support of the channel. I do, do appreciate that and the likes. Thank you. And I love your comments, so thank you. Always keep commenting. I love those comments. Okay, let's go. Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Okay, let's go. We have the Ten of Wands over here showing that determination. I am going to move these sticks. Don't tell me I'm not. Having the determination to do something, right? What are you so determined about? It could be a little overwhelming, and I do feel like there is some overwhelmingness, but it doesn't matter how much weight you have on your shoulders. You're still going to move that no matter what, because you have the inner strength to do so. It's all about the mindset, right? So let's see what's going on. Oh, guys, I forgot too. I have these quantum oracle deck. Before we get started, you'd be like, what are you using now? Yes, we're going to use these. See what wonderful messages they bring out. Um, okay, so let's go. Clarifying on this card with the new Oracle card is intentions and manifestation. And it's talking about spirit over here. So this is a spirit card. And yes, it is talking about that manifesting. I am going to get this done with the intention. So not only are you maybe moving something, like I said, it feels like consciousness, conscious awareness, and you have that intuition and manifestation. So you're determined to manifest what you need to manifest. So, and like I said, there could be some burdens on weighing you down a little bit to do so, but it feels like you are keeping, like I said before, that courage and inner strength to keep going. So loving it. Getting straight into the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. What's going on? You have events over here with a milestone. Trying to catch that milestone. Nice. Using that optimism. Wow. You're going to have to have that, right, to manifest. And new supportive connections in the near future, talking about those people. And I love the optimism, though, because it's actually saying with this card that it's not one of those things that you're not aware of. It's a conscious card. So it's saying you have the conscious awareness of knowing that you're staying and keeping yourself in the positive. And look at all these beautiful colors coming in. We see all these shocker colors. Knowing that you're balanced, knowing that you're, that you're keeping your chakras aligned, for this positivity. A lot of a lot of attraction going on over here. A lot of you watch shoppers, you're like, yeah, you know, we have to keep that positive to get what we want, right? We don't want anything negative coming out. So really using that uh, that knowing and logical thinking of this is how it has to be if I'm gonna get over here to where I wanna be, get this done. Okay. go. Ooh, yes. Getting rid of anything that was holding you back. You said, nope, I'm not allowing any negative energy in here. I'm completely positive. I am not going to cage my mind. I am not going to allow anyone to cage um, my heart or no strings attached. I'm letting everything go. Love it. Taking a loss. You might have even taken a loss. Maybe you, you disconnected from a Capricorn. You said you're holding me back and I don't want a piece of it anymore. Yep, could have been a love situation, and you're going after things that do unite your um, higher self with yourself, doing things that you love. You might even found new love that you're so, you know, passionate about. Maybe you're moving towards someone, and you really are trying to manifest this person. Could be a cancer. It doesn't have to be. Looking for your own happiness. And remember, if it's not love, it's just whatever you love, right? Whatever you're passionate about and want to unite with. For the milestone over here, feels like to get to your milestone, you are going through a transitional stage. Well, of course, because you just went through, I'm getting rid of all the negative to keep positive. So you do feel like you went through a transition. I think you felt it. 
I think you feel more joyful. I think you feel more happy. I think your vitality is shining and I think you know it. You said, I'm going to become a butterfly to get to this place, this milestone that I need to get to. You might even be celebrating. Might have thrown a party, went to a party. Yeah, you had to transition because you had to get rid of all the fears, all the things that made you feel like you were holding you back from conquering anything um, that was holding you back, right? So yeah, you let go of all the fears, all the nightmares, all the insomnia, anything that made you feel like you were not going to get to victory. And this is where your determination said, I'm getting rid of all that negative and I'm going to continue to stay positive. And a great reinforcement of... Um, of energy and manifestation over here. Wow. And it feels like in the present you are at that milestone, you know, really getting ready to um, really start getting what you want. You have new supportive connections over here and then you have the two of cups. So if you're looking for love, what can I say? All right? It's a people card. If you're looking for a job, there it is. If you're looking for some help, there it is. Whatever it is, there it is, though. Yeah, you're going after these achievements no matter what and not allowing anyone to get into your into your energy. And instead of having the nightmares and anxieties, you now feel like you are at a harmonious rest. There's a more peaceful feeling coming if you haven't really 100% felt it yet. Just continue to keep letting go and just continue to keep yourself calm so that you can find that peace within, within you. That's kind of interesting. It's like you have a transformation, but it's not really a 100% cycle change. It's a transition within yourself, but it doesn't really change the cycle right now in the present. That's very interesting. But I've seen this before where it was like, it's only a cycle. I just did this for somebody. I think it was Virgo, Virgo Libra, uh, cusp. <clears throat> well, anyway, it's very interesting because they had a cycle change, but they didn't have a transition. No real butterfly effect. So it's very interesting. And now it's telling you, you're having a huge, beautiful butterfly of transition and transformation, but the cycle itself is not 100% over. Huh. With the world upside down, it's like you're looking for this completion, but the completion hasn't come just yet, right? Because it's saying that you still need to have, to have a little self-improvement, right? Having the hindsight needs, perception still needs a little tweaking, right? Do not overprotect yourself. And that's what I'm thinking why maybe, <clears throat> why that's happening. Because usually when you have a transition, you usually have a cycle change. It's like you're transforming, getting away from one kind of energy and really staying positive. But there's something deep within yourself that's still kind of overprotecting yourself to allow the whole cycle chain to take place. Maybe you're not taking the risk. You haven't taken, you're like determined to manifest, but you haven't taking that risk just yet. Huh. So maybe no action has been taken yet to make the cycle change. That's for some of you. There's no action. There's no risk. There's a little bit of hindsight. 2020 is still looking at the past a little bit, even though you're not allowing it to 100% affect you in the present. Huh. You haven't reached the pure peace and harmony within yourself just just yet but you're transitioning and butterflying into the effect as you're letting go it makes sense actually okay but you do have the new supportive connections coming so make sure that you let go as much as possible and really start um and, and like i said some of you're over protecting yourself it's like i'm determined to get even if you're determined to get to love and you're over protecting your heart maybe you're giving too many rules and regulations to love 
right? Or overprotecting. Like, I want this person. Oh, but it's not you. No, it's not you. You see what I'm saying? But maybe it was supposed to be them. I, I don't know. It's like maybe you're too guarded, too many restrictions. But yet you're very, like, wanting it, but you're still too blocked. I, that's a good word. But you have the new supportive connection, so I do believe that you're going to let that guard down or do whatever it was that out of one of the areas that I had said. Um, and you're going to find this new supportive connection coming towards you. So that is a good thing. <clears throat> and this is networking the opportunities, you know, starting to get the beneficial um, manifestations coming through. Um, you're going to start actually seeing this starting to come together. You're going to meet this person um, somewhere. You're going to find that you have the connection and it's an increased connection. If it's someone you already know, you're going to see an increased connection between the two of you. Maybe that's what you're manifesting for you two to come together, um, to engage in these activities, to bring together more meaningful, profound things that maybe you can do together. Take it how it resonates. Maybe you're reconciliating something and trying to get closer to them. However it is, but there is definitely this connection between you and this other person um, that is more joyful than if, you know, than you've either had in a long time or that you guys have ever had together. Take it how it resonates, whether it's a new person, an old person, however. Um, but definitely new supportive connections. Can you be a new job where you're finding uh, people around you are more supportive? Maybe your coworkers support you and really helping you out around the office, around the building, around the job site, however it is. And really feeling like you two actually can connect to each other, right? Just maybe just as friends. Um, okay. Yeah, it was the perfect timing. So it feels like just because this didn't change doesn't mean you didn't get your manifestation, my friends. Right? The universe is not saying, right? Spirit is not saying. Just because you didn't do this, this didn't change and that you're blocking yourself that you kept this new supportive connections away. That's not what it says. It just says make sure you're aware of that and making sure that you're working on it because you have this coming in. And you don't want to be so blocked, right? If it's a new supportive friend, you want to let the blocks down a little bit, right? So you guys can have that connection. So it's more of a kind of forewarning of you have a new connection coming in. I need you to do this. So it was for the perfect timing. You can clearly see it with the moon over here and nothing's hidden at all. You can, this person doesn't hide. They're true. They're not wearing a mask. They are true blue um, people. No. no challenges over here. You don't have to feel like you're guarding yourself. There it is. Let that guard down. There's no reason to guard yourself from this person. This person is exactly who this person acts to be, seems to be, and is 100%, like I said, true blue um, with the imprints over here. And they're really here to help you, um, whether they're mothering you, fathering you, um, being your best friend. But however it is, this connection is very nurturing for you, and it's going to help you um succeed in any business that you're in because they want you to succeed um so that's a good thing yeah so just have patience and be calm and actually look deep within them so that you can see that you know you really don't need to be guarded on this um this situation I, it really feels like it's more of a guarding so you can find that you can open up a little bit more to this person you don't have to um you know, block everything or be too shy, um, do any of those things, right? Because the connection is very good and you see the mental, it, it's, if the communication is wonderful, you guys can have a great conversation. The connection is awesome. Uh, these swords over here, the communicative, uh, and it's almost an awareness in its own way because they do make you feel relaxed. I think the way that because they are so relaxed and so chilled out, could be dealing with a Pisces, um, or this earth sign over here, Libra, Taurus, but I do feel like because they are so chill and relaxed, it, you know, the communication is just going to be smooth and easy. Okay. And see what your soul wants you to know on this, since you're using that intuition and manifesting.
best message to use for Pisces Aries. Surrender. All is well. I surrender to my inner guidance. That's it right here. That's it. That's that. That's that. No blocking. I surrender. I don't need to have these. I don't need that. Just stay determined. Stay where you need to be. Allow that to essence. In my essence, I am joy. Everything's going to be fine. You just surrender to that. Don't you hold on to that. You just keep yourself at peace and harmony and not worry about that, right? Because in the near future, like I said, it's going to show that you are starting to knock the blocks down anyways and al allowing better conversation and the knowing to uh, getting to know each other through this connection. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.